There are so many challenges to being a new consultant. I'm in my fourth year as a consultant now and I really still find it a challenge to let go. When we're senior trainees, we're all over it. We're seeing patients, we're juggling everything, we're managing everything. But now we need to have oversight, we need to manage the shop floor and we need to learn to let go and it's not easy. Unfortunately, many of us struggle switching from super efficient registrar to new consultant. As a senior registrar, I was used to flexing my skills, seeing all the patients, getting everything done, starting new projects. I was on top of everything. But now as a consultant, I know that I need to steer my juniors, I need to help focus the team, and I need to have more oversight. Essentially, I need to stop doing everything myself. Sometimes when I try to do that, I feel like I'm going too much the other way and not getting involved enough. Finding that balance is really hard. We're used to being involved in everything as senior trainees, but actually being a great leader is about being more essential to the team, but less involved. As registrars, we try to prove we can work independently. We try to do things to boost our CV and we try to impress our bosses. And that transition to new consultant is really tricky. This isn't an easy process, but these five tips help me try to get the right balance to, as to how to let go as a consultant. Tip one, engage, but engage at the right level. So as a consultant, you need to steer the team, listen to the management plans and keep thing, things on track, but you don't need to see every single patient yourself. So it's working out where you need to engage, which patients do need you to go and have a review of them and which you can leave to the team and just get an update on what's going on. That is, is such a skill to learn, but if you can learn how to engage at the right level, you're on the way to nailing it. Tip two, trust your team. You need to believe in your team and they need to know that you believe in them. By not doing everything yourself, by letting them see patients make their own decisions just with a light touch where needed by you, that's how you can show them that you trust them. If you're taking every task off their hands, I'll see them, I'll see them, I'll see them, don't worry, I can get this. It really doesn't instill trust and that's going to make everyone feel devalued and is going to make for poorer performance for your whole team. Tip three, be patient. One of the challenges I find is at times I feel like if I did the job myself, I could get it done much quicker. And of course that is true when you're dealing with people who are new to the job, who are trying to find where literally where things are or who may be less experienced at paediatrics. To be able to let go as a consultant, you have to be patient. You have to just accept that some things take longer than it might be if you did it yourself, but that's okay. That is part of the process of learning to be a good leader. Tip four, make it clear what's expected. Your team members can't step up if they don't know what is expected of them or what their role requires so so be clear when you're on a shift or when you're running a particular team call or even allocating tasks just make sure who's expected to do what so that all your team members know what is supposed to be allocated to them what you're hoping for them to achieve it means there's no second guessing there's no one worried about stepping on anyone else's toes overall it's going to improve the team performance and tip five is learning to embrace that feeling of letting go there's lots of challenges to becoming a new consultant but for me this has been one of the biggest accepting the feeling of trusting your team, letting people do their thing, of learning how to know when things are on track and when you need to step in. You can't be an effective leader without learning to embrace letting go and so that is the best tip to help you step up as a new consultant. I have not perfected the art of letting go as a consultant and I do still worry about whether I'm going too much one way or too much the other way. I do try to focus on these five tips to help keep me on track. They definitely make a difference to improve my leadership skills and improve the performance of the team when I'm on a shift. If you enjoyed this video, you will like my video about how I conquered the yips and you can see that here.